Hello, uh, my name is Alfred Vias. I'm an interventional cardiology fellow at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm happy to be able to present the uh, findings of my recent study, which investigated whether or not there was an impact of doing procedures on call on the outcomes of next day procedures. So essentially in a background of uh, a lot of public concern about the impacts of sleep deprivation in various different aspects of our society, for example, in the uh, airline industry. There's been, uh, um, there's been uh, restrictions placed on uh, sleep and how much sleep they would, uh, people would need to have in order to be able to perform their job safely. In the um, uh, medical field, there's been lots of studies that have looked at the impact of uh, sleep deprivation uh, but this have all been done in the resident or fellow population, so physicians in training. And in order to uh, investigate that further, what we did is we looked at the consultant and attending population. So the Mayo Clinic maintains a large PCI registry, and we use that in order to perform the study. So it's a retrospective study using a large PCI registry. Um, what we did is we established who was on call and if they performed a procedure while on call. That allowed us to then select post-call procedures. We then looked at the, the outcomes of those post-call procedures and compared them to procedures that were performed by physicians who were not on call previously in order to see if there was a post-call effect on the outcomes of those cases. So uh, our major outcome, our major um, uh, endpoint was MACE, which was a composite of myocardial infarction, cerebral vascular accident, stroke, and uh, need for urgent revascularization. So what we found was a, uh, a event rate in the control group of approximately 7% if we looked at emergent cases. We stratified them to emergent versus elective, and in that emergent uh, case, uh, um, we found approximately a 7% outcome in um, uh, those uh, as stratified by indication for procedure. Now, if we looked at the post-call procedures stratified in the same way, we found approximately a 9% uh, 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 MACE rate. That difference was not uh, enough to reach statistical significance, but we did find that there was a trend. If we looked at the elective cases performed uh, by post-call uh, physicians, we found that there was approximately a 1.5% MACE rate as opposed to about a 1% MACE rate in uh, procedures that were performed by non-post-call uh, physicians. Again, there was a trend, but there was not enough to uh, make statistical significance. We also looked at the components of that composite endpoint individually, and again, we saw trends in each of them, but there was not, not enough to say that there was a statistical difference. So in the end, we were not able to demonstrate that there was a difference uh, in outcomes of procedures performed by post-call physicians, but we were able to demonstrate that there is a trend in that direction. So in the end, I think that our, our, our um, study is important for a number of reasons. One being, it demonstrates that there is this trend and that maybe if we were able to have a bigger population, we'd be able to, to define that as a statistically significant difference. On the other hand, it, it may show that it's uh, safe and that um, having your procedure performed by a physician who has been up the previous night is safe. I think that uh, we would need to be look at this in a larger patient population to say for sure, however.